Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauty Swirls. So today is going to be part one of a mini series that I'm bringing to you guys and it's going to be how to make a lace frontal wig from start to finish step-by-step -step instructions. I'm going to show you all the products that you will need to make your full frontal wig. So I hope you're as excited as I am. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So first I'm going to show you an example of a lace frontal wig. This is a lace frontal wig right here that I created myself. Here is the back part here and this is the lace frontal. It goes from ear to ear and about maybe four to five inches back on your head. So it looks like that and it does have an elastic band to make sure you have a snug fit and I just used a dome cap on this one. So it looks like that. And a lace frontal wig is perfect for anyone, any skin color, any hair type, this will be perfect. So if you wanna change your hair color, your hair texture without having your hair out or damaging your real hair, this is perfect. I'm wearing one right now. This is a lace frontal wig and it looks so natural. This is gonna be the glueless and soulless method. So you can put it on and take it off whenever you like. So that's why I love my lace frontal wigs. So the hair that we're going to be using for this series is from Her Hair Company and I have reviewed their hair company before. It was the 613 blonde hair that I had and I did the whole gray hair video so if you want to know how to get gray hair make sure you check the card up above right here so you can check out their hair. But yes, I really love the quality, I love their services, their customer services is on point so I'm very excited to be reviewing their hair again. So the hair comes in a plastic bag just like this, so it's gonna be well protected on transit. So here is the hair that I chose. I have curly hair this time. I have four bundles ranging from 16, 18, 20, and 22. And I also have a 14 inch lace closure. And I'm so excited about this closure. I just love the curl pattern on it. And I love the fact that it has the protective edges on so it won't, you know, fray. Also, it's a very long closure, so it will fit anyone's head. So, so far, I'm loving the way the hair looks. The curls are unified, it's perfect. The ends look very healthy. It smells good, it doesn't smell bad. Let's check out the bundles, the tracks on them. The track looks very nice, well made. It does have bearding on it, but that never bothers me. I never see it in my units and it doesn't itch or anything for me, so I never mind the bearding on it, but just to let you guys know, it does have bearding. The tracks look really good, no like zigzaggy or you know hairs out of place on it. Looks very nice. So shedding, I can't really speak on that yet because I don't really like to run my fingers through curly hair. But as I wear it, I'll let you guys know if I experience any shedding after I install the hair. The luster looks really good. It doesn't look doll-like or over shiny, and it doesn't look dull. It's right in the middle, so it's the perfect luster. So I have a question for you guys. Should I bleach or dye this hair a different color or leave it in a natural state? I'm not sure what I want to do yet. <sighs> If I do bleach it or dye it, I want it to be like a nice brown color, like a nice uh, sandy brown, I guess that would be the color. I'm not sure, I'm just so torn, I don't know. So what do you guys think? Leave me some suggestions in the comment section below. I would love to hear you guys' opinion on what I should do with this. This hair is just so pretty, I can't wait to make my unit. So like I said, this series will be done in three parts. Today is part one, which is the initial review of the hair and everything you would need to make your lace frontal. Part two is gonna be all about the lace closure and how to make it look very natural. And part three will be the wig making series and styling and all that good stuff. So I can't wait to make this wig. So as I stated, this hair that I'm wearing right now is a lace frontal unit that I put together and is a glueless and soulless method. So I'm gonna show you right now that you can move this around. So you see that? Move it around. So I can take it off and put it on whenever I want. I can style it anywhere that I want. You can part your lace frontal anywhere that you would like because you have all this parting space, you guys. All that parting space. I just love frontals. So let's get into all the things that you're gonna need for this series. Firstly, you're gonna need a mannequin head. I just got this from my beauty supply store and I use the uh, tape method around the edges so I can mimic the shape and the size of my own head so that my wigs will fit snugly. 
So that's what I did with that. Next, you're gonna need some type of wig cap. So I have two options here that I like to use and this is the dome cap and the weaving cap. I do prefer the dome cap because I feel like this is a more snug fit and it's just, I just like it better for some reason. So I would go with this one if I were you. <laughs> You're gonna need some type of gel. I would recommend one that dries clear, that's not flaky. The one that I have is the Alcohol Free Echo Professional Styling Gel. Looks like that and is in crystal. And also I would recommend that you have a mascara wand. This is the one with the brush and the comb on it. This will be perfect for your baby hairs laying it down. I just love using this. Of course you're gonna need a comb. You're gonna need elastic bands. I got mine off of eBay. I'm pretty sure beauty supply stores might carry this too but I just got mine off of eBay. Simple. You're gonna need some wig combs so you can have your snug fit without having to use, you know, a uh, needle and thread and sewing it down. So I would suggest you get some wig combs. I got the one that has the little material at the top here so you can sew it onto your wigs really easily. Got this off eBay also. And for your wig making process, you're gonna need needle and thread. I would suggest the curvy needle like this. It makes your job that much easier. Some clips. You're gonna need T-pins. This is gonna make your life so much easier. You can pin down your wig to your mannequin head so you can work much easier. You're also gonna need a really sharp tweezer. Do not use a dull tweezer because it's gonna make your life so much harder. Use one that's still sharp and this is gonna be used to pluck out your edges to get that natural hairline. Some sharp scissors. And for bleaching the knots on your lace frontal, you're gonna need bleach and developer. And of course, you're gonna need your bundles and your frontal. I will leave the link in the bottom bar below where you can get this hair. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that their frontals are gonna be available sometime in June, I think. I will leave the information in the bottom bar below the exact time that this will be out, but sometime in June, I think that's what they said. So if you don't wanna wait that long, go ahead and get a lace closure. That will work just as nicely. But I wanted to let you guys know that this won't be available until June. So I think that's about it, you guys. I hope you're gonna enjoy this series. A lot of people always ask me about my hair, how I do my frontals or closures. So this video is for you guys. I'm gonna show you all my tips and tricks on how I get my, you know, my frontals looking the way they do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Mwah, bye-bye. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauty's World. So today I'm going to be showing you how to go from this 613 color to this nice gray color. Stay tuned. So as you can see here, I tried a couple of different products. So if you're not up to date, this hair did start off as a 613 Platinum Blonde. If you want to see the unboxing video of that, I'll leave it down below. And also how I colored it, all that information will be in the bottom bar below. I did. Do